Square Website Builder tutorial. How to use Square Website Builder. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with the Square Website Builder. Square is an online platform that specializes in e-commerce and as well as setting up POS for retail, restaurants, and much more. However, Square Online is a product by Square that allows you to create your own website as well as sell products or services on that website. It works really efficiently and can be a great way for you to take your brick and mortar store onto the online ecosphere. So to get started, simply head on over to squareup.com. Go into services and under services, you see a section called products. You will see online store listed over here and you can just click on that to enter their online store page. Now over here, you can start your own online store. To do that, just click on create your site on the top right to get started. Now you will see a sign up page for Square. So we're going to go on ahead and enter our email address. Once you do that, you're just going to type in a password for Square and agree to their terms of service. Once you do that, your sign up will be completed. I'm just going to sign on into our account that we just created. We're just going to proceed over here into our Square account to start building our website. So you can also add a secondary protective layer with your phone number so it ensures that no one is uh, logging on to your account without you knowing. But on the left, you will see a quick access panel to Square Online. Simply click on this panel to get started with building your site. Another great thing about using Square to build your website is that if you're looking to sell products or services, it's going to do a great job and having key analytics ready for you, measuring metrics, as well as listing products, services, and much, much more. You can even sell courses, subscription boxes, and other things on Square. So once you click on Square Online, you're going to see the section called Website, and you're just going to click on Edit Site here to begin building your site. I have created this site previously, but we're going to be scrapping this and getting started from scratch. Now with Square, you have a lot of different sections that can be customized. You have multiple varieties of options and you can just click on site design and then click on change site style to choose your own style. Let's choose this really simple and basic style and we're going to click, we're going to click on apply site style on the top right. Once you do that, you can further customize individual elements. So over here, you're going to click on add image on logo, then click on over here and click on my images and you can drag your logo or just upload your logo like so. Once you do that, just select your logo. What this does is that anywhere where your logo is meant to be included, it will by default add your logo. Now I want to customize my navigation panel. So I'm going to click on this navigation panel and I want to edit this and I want to change the layout. So it has my, I think the logo on the left and the navigation on the left looks nice. And then I'm going to edit the color to black over here. Then I have the logo as well as the custom background. So we have a background color as well, and I'm going to set that as a black color because I don't like the, you know, gap between it. And after that, after our logo, I'm going to actually, if I remove the custom background, it just has, you know, a white layover, which I don't like. I'm just going to set it as black. I'm going to set it as black like so. Yeah. It's glitching again and again. Yeah, like so. Now, after that, we have our navigation option as well as our icons that we want to include and what color we want to make our icons. I'm going to click on done so I can proceed with the next step. Now, this is our main banner in Square Websites. It does a really nice job into building a simple template based upon standard e-com websites. So the main banner is pretty standardized and I'm just going to click on this. And once I click on this on the left, I have a option for layout and color. Now I want a image on the right and text on the left. So I can go with this option, this option. We have these ones as well, but I personally like this style a lot. I'm going to go with this and I'm going to click on the image, click on add image. 
and then you're going to upload your own content over here. So I'm going to use this image over here as my banner image. And once the image has been uploaded, just select the image and click on done. Once I've done that, my image will now be inserted. And now I can click on this text and edit the headline. Just do a double click and then you can add your own text. Let's say I want to add the smoky or indulge in luxurious creamy eye makeup. I don't think this sounds right, so I'm going to go with another copywriting line, which is going to be sparkle, shimmer, and stun. And then below that, we have a shop all button. So I'm going to change the text on this to say shop now instead. And it's going to link to the shop all page, which is going to display all of the products added. Now behind that, we have a simple background that is added, which is our background media. We're going to click on edit and we can edit this to a solid color. We can improve readability. We can change this image altogether. But if you want, you can upload your own image as well. So you can delete this image to add a solid color. Or if you have your own, you know, really simple patterned background, you can add that as well. I am going to delete this image. And once I have deleted this image, I'm going to click on add image. And I am going to be using, let's say, I don't like any of these images. So I'm going to go with a simple white background for now. And we can actually click on the section and you can scroll down to see the color options that you do have. So if I want to make this black, I can go into the color style and change the color style like so. So I'm going to go with a black color style for the image banner. And then we have featured items. I'm going to leave it as it is because it looks pretty decent and I can move towards the secondary section, which is the next page. To edit another page on the Square website builder, simply click on the top left and you will see all of your pages. So your standard pages, category pages, and if you want to add any page, simply click on add page to build your own page from scratch. Open up the page of your choice that you want to edit and then from here you can begin editing. Once you've completed everything, just click on preview to preview it on both desktop and mobile devices. And once you're satisfied, just click on publish on the top right and you can find a custom domain, use a domain that you already know that you already have, or you can just use a free domain provided by Square. And you don't have to purchase Square, you don't have to upgrade on Square to use their free subdomain. However, to find your own domain or to link to your own domain, you would have to purchase a premium version of Square. And this is what our website looks like currently and has been set live with the simple domain name. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with using Square as a website builder. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.